Step your right foot forward between your hands. Squeeze your leg muscles firm and steady. And from your right glute, right bun, push all the way down through your right leg, down into the floor, and then hover your fingertips up off the floor. Take both hands over to the right side. Bring them into the center. Take both hands over to the left side. And come back to the center. Both hands to the right. Come to the center. Both hands to the left. Come to the center, place your hands down, step back, down to facing dog. Switch sides, take your left foot forward into a lunge. Squeeze your leg muscles strong around your bones and from your left glutes, push all the way down through your left leg into your left foot. Hover your hands up off the floor. Take both hands over to the left side. Come back to the center. Both hands to the right. Come back to the center. Nothing changes in the legs. Both hands to the left. Come back to the center, and both hands to the right. Come back to the center, place your hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and downward facing dog. Shift yourself forward into plank pose and lower all the way down onto your belly. Come to lay just on your left side with your legs straight out. Now bend your knees forward. So they're about at a 90 or a little bit less than 90 degree angle from your hips. You can bring your left hand under your head. And keep your feet glued together. Knees are bent to about 90 degrees. Let your right fingertips rest on the floor in front of you. Slowly open your right knee to the ceiling and bring it back down. Right knee to the ceiling and bring it back down. Open and back down. Open and back down. Continue, now don't open your hips. Don't let the hips move, they stay where they are. You're not resting back on your booty. And back down, two more times. Open, back down. One more time, open and back down. Now straighten both legs and bend your knees. 90 degrees, we'll do the same thing in this position. Open and back down. And open and back down. Open and down. Open and down. Keep your hips steady. Open and down. Don't roll back on your glutes. Open and down. Two more times. Open and down. Open and down. Now switch sides. So you can swing your legs out ahead of you. Come to the other end of your mat. Rest down onto your right side. Bring your right hand under your ear. Left fingertips on the floor. And then bring your legs out at about a 90 degree angle from you. With your, making sure that your left knee stacks all the way on top of your right knee. Bring your feet together, knees in 90 degree bend, and then slowly open and lower back down. Open and lower back down. Open, lower back down, open and lower. Notice your feet stay together. Keep going and down and open and down. Two more times, open up. And one more, open and down. Stretch both legs straight out along the mat. Bend your knees so that the feet are behind you, but your knees are still out from your hips. And try to keep your hips stacked one on top of the other. So you open your knee and bring it back in. And open and down. Open and down. Open and down. Two more, a few more times. Open and knee in. Open. And down, two more, open, keep your uh, core firm. And once more, open and down, excellent. Stretch both legs out and now come onto your back. We'll finish up with some bridges. Bend your elbows beside you and let your palms face each other so your hands are not doing this work for you. Your um, glutes are gonna do the work. Take your shoulders back down into the floor. Now, for this version, lift your toes, keep your heels on the mat, and engage your glutes strongly. Push down, lift your hips, rise up. So you'll notice with your toes up that it really it requires you to engage all the way up to the back of the legs and into the glutes. But if you overforce your glutes, you'll actually feel usually pinching in your low back. So if you're feeling pinching, think of it coming scooping your tail more towards your heels and sliding your buttocks more towards your knees to lengthen your spine. 
And then exhale and lower back down. Do a couple of lifts of these dynamically. So legs strong, lift your hips, lower and lightly touch, lift your hips, lower lightly touch, lift your hips, lower lightly touch. One more like this, lift your hips, lower lightly touch, pause, let your feet come down, let your hands come down. Feel a full breath and notice how your body is responding to this activation. Hopefully you're feeling your glutes turn on a little. Again, hands up, lift your toes, squeeze your glutes and your legs, push down, lift your hips. Now hover your right leg up off the mat and set it down. Hover your left leg off the mat and set it down. Hover right, set it down. Hover left, set it down. Couple more, right leg up, set it down. Left leg up, set it down once more. Right leg, and down, and left leg, and down. Set your hips down, set your toes down, rest your arms down. Take your arms out wide, hover your right leg up off the floor, cross your right ankle over your left knee, and draw your right leg, sorry, your left leg in towards you. Take a couple of breaths, in this eye of the needle pose. Suchi Randrasana. So as we strengthen the muscles, it's really useful to also stretch. Then you get the long, strong muscles. Good, lower down. And switch sides. Take your left ankle across your right leg, flex your left foot, and bring your knee in towards you. Clasp behind your right thigh. So I don't do clasping the shin because that tends to pull on my knee. So clasp behind your thigh and you don't cause extra strain to your knee. Stick your butt down towards the floor even as your knees come towards you. And then release. Bring both hands to your belly, take a deep breath in. And let it out. And you're all done. Thanks for sharing your practice today. I hope it's useful for you and hope to see you soon. Take care.